today I've got for you an awesome 30 minute body weight cardio workout. All you need is a chair or your couch, something that you can sit on and put your feet on. If you don't have either one of those, that's fine. I give modifications with just your body, no, no prop. Um, if this is your first time with us, I'm Corey Boggs, personal trainer here at Benefit Fitness. Here at our channel, we are about all things, about all things, all things about wellness and health on your fitness journey. So we wanna walk alongside of you wherever that may be. So we have some nutritional tip videos. We have lots of workouts like this. Also some exercise and strength tip videos to help you move well when you're doing your own exercises. So check those out afterwards. Find some space and your prop if you have one and let's get after it together. Start with just a slow jog. Skipping those feet. If you want to go high knees, you can go high knees. I'm just gonna get warmed up for about three minutes or so. Good, pick up those knees, jog those feet, move your arms. Again, we're using a chair for prop today. So we have a few variations of movements. Okay, let's go into a squat pattern. Down and up, sit back into those heels. Just focus on spreading the floor apart. If you wanna sit for a second, just kind of wiggle out those hips. You can do that too. Squat, wiggle out those hips. Some people can't quite get that deep, so just squat and stand. This will really help with your hips, help with your ankles, keep those heels on the ground. Good. Last one, we do a reverse lunge to a side bend, reverse lunge with your right leg, left knee down and side bend over. So a bunch of people just jumped on. I'm gonna use a chair um, as a prop today. If you don't have a chair, you can use your couch or I will show you without it, it's totally fine as we get going. But those are what, that's what we're gonna use today. Last one on each side. Then we're gonna do some lateral lunges, stretch those inner thighs, legs. Further the hip width is apart, send your weight into your right heel, press back to your left heel. If you need a big chest, we're just stretching through the inner thigh, sitting down. Good, if you wanna sit really low, you can sit really low. Left to right, we're just stretching through those hips, those legs, those ankles, just a couple more. We'll get started with our cardio class today. Good. All right, we're going to forward fold and walk out to plank position. Forward fold, walk out to plank position. Send your hips down, shine your chest up. So our last movement. Push those shoulders down your back. Walk it back in. Let's do five of those. Sit into those heels when you stretch into that forward fold. Then hips down, chest up. Pull your shoulders down your back. Kind of like you're pulling your hands towards your hips. Your chest is reaching forward. Walk it in. Walk it back out, hips down, shine your chest, pull your hands towards your toes. We'll go one more, walk it out, Good. and walk it back in, and roll it on up. All right, so we're gonna have four movements, well, two of them are the same, we're gonna do four times through. First exercise, you're gonna sit on your chair, you're gonna bring your elbows to your knees, leaning back, you have to use your torso, jump up, sit, elbows to knees, Jump up. If you don't have a chair, you can just do a jump squat. Exercise two and four is the same. We're gonna go into a plank position here. We're gonna do mountain climbers. So that's exercise two, exercise three. We're gonna get as low as we can to the chair. So my chair is here, I'm gonna stay here, and I'm gonna tap left and right, staying as low as I can. Flip back around to mountain climbers. We're gonna do that four times through, okay? I'm gonna show variations for the mountain climbers to make it a little bit more challenging if we need. And if you don't have a chair, you can do all that on the ground. You don't have to have a chair. But we're gonna just make it fun with props. Let's start in five. We're gonna sit on it to our elbows to knees to our jump. So you're gonna lean back. It's a little bit harder than you may think. Lean back, elbows to knees, then jump as high as you can. Sit down, elbows to knees, as high as you can. If you don't have a chair, you can just do jump squats, sitting low, elbows to your knees, and jump. That's up to you. Elbows to knees, jump. Elbows to knees, Float up as high as you can. Bring those knees to your elbows. All right, flip around. We're gonna do mountain climbers. Hands on the chair. First round, this might feel a little simple, but after doing them a total of eight times, or more, eight times, knees into your chest, push straight down. Pull those knees in, keep your elbows nice and soft, your shoulders stacked over your wrists. Pull those knees in, drive them up, drive them up. 
Good. That's it. Come on. Keep going. All right, I'm gonna turn the sideways so you can see this a little bit better. So sit on your chair, lean forward, and then you're gonna take your butt off the chair, just right as how low as you are. And then we're just going to tap right and left. Sit into those heels. Tap right and left. Good, try to keep your butt low. I started getting higher, don't get high like so. The, butt, the chair is kind of just a reminder that I'm gonna try to stay super low. Three, two, one. Back to mountain climbers. If you wanna change it up, you're welcome to now flip around. Put your hands on the ground, your feet on the chair. Play around with it, do what you can do, and pull those knees in. This is just another variation. If you feel like it, you totally don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you options for these mountain climbers. So we're doing eight sets of mountain climbers at 20 seconds, because they're in between. All right, each exercise, I'm pushing this chair. Come on, you've got it. Shoulders over wrists. Okay, back up. That's one round. Three more to go. So sit down on your chair. Elbows to knees. So really focus on crunching, having control. Elbow to your knees. Feet on the ground, explode as high as you can. Elbows to knees. Down and up, make it quick. It's only 20 seconds. Pull those knees up, tap those elbows. Explode, explode. Come on, you've got it. All right, flip around. So you can do your mountain climbers, hands on the ground, hands on the chair. I'm gonna go back to my hands on the chair. We're gonna run it out nice and fast. So nice straight body line, pull knees into your chest. Push that floor away. When you're here, you're pushing through that back leg. Switch, push, eight seconds. Come on, pull them in. It should be challenging. You should challenge yourself, it's only 20 seconds. Okay, sit on your chair or your couch. Oh, I'm sorry, if you don't have one now, this is around two, you can just sit low and tap. You don't need a chair for this. It's just kind of a device. I like to have props. Just it makes it feel like things are a little different. Low as you can, hands at heart center, big chest. Eight seconds, side to side. Come on, fast feet. You're switching your weight over that planted leg. Planted leg. So I'm not just kind of shifting my weight. It's always over the planted leg. Back to mountain climbers. I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna switch mine up. I'm gonna go down onto the ground. You can again stay at your angle, incline or decline. When you're at decline, if you're on a chair, you may push it from side to side and push it back. So just be careful about not losing that chair behind you. Keep those hips square. Often when people do chair ones, their butt comes in the air. Like so, back down. All right, we're halfway through. Sit down on that chair. Get ready, we're going to do elbow to knees to jump. Ready? Elbow knee, explode up as high as you can. Soft landing. Land softly right into that chair. Don't just land and then sit, okay? Jump, if you don't wanna jump, just tap. You can just do a straight stand, elbow to knee, and stand. You don't have to do impact, it's up to you. Okay, mountain climbers. So continual incline or decline, it's totally up to you. I'm just giving you some options. You do what feels right for you today. 18 seconds, the incline, I definitely can move my feet faster. There's less pressure on my shoulders. The decline, a little bit more intense on those shoulders. Come on, pull those knees up. They're fast feet, fast knees. Two. All right, sit on your chair. Get ready to do those fast side taps. So making sure, I'm just gonna show what not to do. Make sure when you're out here, you're not just kind of switching weight Side to side, we're just tapping my weight is straight down over that leg. Come on, fast feet, sit. Sit into the heel of that straight leg. So heel, heel, heel. Two, one. All right, mountain climbers. I'll go down opposite. You can go straight up, you can go incline or decline. Up to you, you guys, you know what you can do. This is a little bit slower for me because I don't want to push my chair away. A little bit more intense on the shoulders. Keep those ribs down, core strong. 
gaze right between your thumbs. Don't look back up under your feet. Don't look ahead of you. We want a neutral spine. Come on, get it done. All right. One more round. Sit on that chair. Okay, elbows to knees, and then jump. It's kind of like a lean back squat. Jump. Crunch. Or crunch your squat jump. I need to come up with a funny name for this. Come on, quick. Elbow to knee, explode. Elbow to knee, explode. Come on, sit quick. Back up. Whew. Don't slow down. All right, climbers. We're almost there, you guys. Okay. Straight body line, gaze right between your thumbs. Pull your knees in. You can just slow it down if you need or run it out. Switch those feet. Kind of like you're doing high knees. Puff up your chest. Pull your shoulders down your back. Come on, you can do it. Almost there. All right, side taps. Sit on your bench. Lean back. I'm sorry, lean forward, weight over your feet. Stay as low as you can. Tap, tap. Come on. Fast feet, fast feet. When you tap, you tap with your toe, but your heel stays in the ground. So now my toe touches, but my heel's in the ground. Side to side, big chest. Don't round forward, don't get sloppy like this. Big chest. All right, last 20 seconds. We're changing it up. <clears throat> get ready and go. Your last mountain climbers, last movement in this eight minutes. Good, good, that's it. Come on, focus, push the floor away or push the chair away. Knees drawing straight into that chest. Three, and rest. All right, grab some water. We're gonna do the same pattern, but four, well, it's really three more movements. All right, so using your chair, exercise number one. So we're going to do a push up on the chair then you're gonna jump in, keeping your back flat. Jump right back out, an inclined push up. In and out. If you really wanna make it challenging, you can get the chair away. And you can just do, if you feel super on fire, push up, jump in and out. That's up to you, no chair. Exercise two and four, the same, gonna be the same. We're gonna stand on the chair. We're gonna do switch jumps. So we switch feet, drive straight down, straight down. Notice. I kind of push forward, it's gonna push that chair forward. So you have to drive straight down. So that's exercise two, exercise three. All of a sudden I completely forgot. Oh yes, we're doing a side plank. Side plank on the bench. We're gonna pull knee in, kick it straight out. Knee in, kick it straight out. So the next time around, we'll just flip around on the other side. Those are our four movements. Let's get after it with our push-ups to a jump in, starting in five. Plank position on the bench, or your chair, or the ground, whatever you would like. Perfect push up. Chair, ch chest touches the bench if you can, in and out. So when you jump in, your back is flat. Try not to just jump in and round, and out. Flat back, flat feet, push up. Quick, come on. Make the push ups a little bit less hard. Okay, now you're gonna stand on your chair. Let me come this way so I have more room. I don't know, we'll see what works, but the chair is gonna be great. So we're gonna drive straight down. We're gonna switch those feet. Straight down, switch those feet. Now I'll show you this way. Push straight through your heel, switch, switch, tap. You're just quickly tapping here, pushing through the bench. Push, push. You have a slight forward lean. We're not straight up like this. If you're like this, it's gonna push that chair forward. You have to have a forward lean. Okay, side plank, elbow on the bench. Side plank, hand by your ear. You're gonna pull your knee to your elbow, and you're gonna kick it straight out. Knee to your elbow, kick it straight out. Knee, if you don't have a chair, come down to the ground. You could just go knee to elbow, kick it straight out. You can bend that bottom leg to make it a little easier. This is a modification if you don't have a chair, because you don't have to have a chair to do this workout. I just found it fun. All right, our switches. Switch jumps, so remember, slight forward lean, we're pushing straight down, otherwise you're gonna push that chair forward. 
straight down and switch. If you find yourself pushing it forward, it's because you're probably straight up. Your body is straight up and down. You're, and then so your leg is just gonna slide that chair forward. Switch those feet. This is gonna get that heart going. All right, forearm plank, other side. So you're gonna see my backside. Big chest. You're gonna pull your knee to your elbow. Keep that leg hovering if you can. Kick it straight forward. Knee to elbow, kick it straight forward. Knee to elbow and kick. Knee to elbow and kick. I totally messed that up. We're gonna fix it in a second. Good, knee to elbow and kick. That was supposed to be our push-ups. So, we'll fix it up later. All right, so switch jumps. I was two on top of one, I to do that twice, okay? Switch jumps, just follow along. I'll fix it as we go. Come on, switch jumps, switch jumps. Good, you've got it. Come on, drive through that heel. Straight up and down, straight up and down. All right, push-ups. Push-ups to our jump in. So you can have your bench. If you don't want to use the bench, go to the floor. Same thing. Push up, flat feet, push up. If you don't have a bench, come to the floor, jump into your toes, bear crawl. Push up, toes, bear crawl. That's up to you if you don't want to use your chair. Push up, in and out. Okay, switch jumps. Get ready. Get set and switch it. Switch jumps. Good. Good. Switch those feet. Put your weight straight over, straight up and down. If you don't have a chair, you can just do a jump lunge. You don't have to get all the way down. That's up to you. Sorry, I gave that late. Okay, we're going to go back to the push up jump ins and then we'll kind of be on track. We'll have done three, we'll almost have done three on each side. Push up, jump ins. Get ready. Push up, jump in and out. Push up, jump in and out. Let that, if you have a chair, try to let that chest touch the chair. Nice and low. Good. Knock it out. All right. Okay, switch jumps. Then we'll go to our side plank on one side. Get ready and switch it. Whew, if I push too far, you notice if you kind of are doing it incorrectly, you're gonna push that chair forward. Straight down, straight up. Push through that forward with the leg on the chair. Push and push. You've got this folks, come on, keep it going. Switch. All right, side plank. Back to your first side plank. With the chair, you're welcome to go to the ground if you want, or with the modified on the ground with the bottom leg bent. So knee to elbow, keep that leg hovered. Swoop it forward. Knee to elbow, swoop it forward. Knee to elbow, swoop it forward. Knee to elbow, swoop it forward. Good. We're just doing two side planks on each side for a total of four. Okay. All right, back to our switch jumps. Then we have our push ups and our other side plank. We're done. With a switch jump in between each one. Get ready, switch it. We're almost there. Come on. Use power from that leg on the chair that goes straight down. We're not pushing off that bottom leg. If you're pushing too far off the bottom leg, I bet your chair is moving. Unless you have a really secure surface, it won't. Okay, push up jump ins. Then switch jumps, and then side plank, and we're done. Ready? Push up, jump in. Pull yourself down, push yourself away. Make sure your feet jump in, flat on the ground, and a flat back. Don't round that back, okay? We've got it. Jump it in. All right, switch jumps, and then our other side plank. And then we rest and we have our fun round. Get ready, get set, and switch it. 
come on. Quick feet, explosive movements. Take a peek at your knees. Make sure that they're not rotating in. If you're pushing up and your knees, if you can see that with it. And make sure we have a nice stable knee when you drive up. Drive up. All right, last side plank with elbow to knee and a kick, straight leg kick. Elbow to knee to a kick. Let that leg hover if you can the whole time. Elbow to knee, swoop it forward or kick it forward. When you kick it forward, don't let your back arch. Big chest, just swoop forward, elbow to knee. Last 20 seconds here. Good work, you guys. Swoop it forward. All right. Grab some water, wipe off your sweat. If I had a towel, I'd wipe my sweat off. We have our final round. Our final round. All right. I short change this one switch jump. I'm just all behind. So we have our 45 second round, 45 seconds with a 10 second, with a 10 second rest. Every exercise just one time through. We're gonna start with our elbow to knee to jumps. Are we ready, you guys? Ready? Let's get it. In five. So sit on your chair. Eight minutes of work right here. Elbow to knee, jump it up. 45 seconds. The goal is to keep moving and grooving for the whole 45 seconds. If you need to just stand in, elbow to knee, that works. If you just need to do our squats, that works as well. All these variations, find what is best for you today. We're here to work hard. We're all in it together. We're each giving it our best shot. Wherever you're at, keep pushing. Our mountain climbers in eight seconds. Just try to have a soft landing. When you land, sit into that chair, elbow to knee. All right, mountain climbers. I'm gonna do all my mountain climbers on the bench, so no decline for me. You can do whatever you want. Knees in and run it out. Pull those knees into your chest. Push the chair straight down to the ground. Whew. You've got it. Puff up your chest. Don't round those shoulders. 45 seconds here. Drawing that knee straight in. Switch straight in. Strong core, straight in. 20 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you guys, push it. Fast feet. Straight line with those arms, soft elbows. Come on, you can do it. Three seconds. All right, we're doing our side to side taps. Start sitting on the bench. Then you're gonna tap side to side. Get ready. Side to side. Tap side, just reach side to side. Come on. The weight is in the heel of the planted leg. You're just tapping. You're just tapping with the other side. Tap, tap, tap. Big chest. Hands the heart center if you want. Or pump those arms. Doesn't matter. I better get my chair because I was cheating. I was getting a little too low, too high as I was talking. Get low. Get low. Tap. Just the toe and the side. Tap your toe. Tap your toe, come on, get low, sit into that heel. Get lower. And three, two, one. All right, climbers. Incline if you want, decline if you want, or you can go straight on. It's up to you, but the goal is to keep going for the 45 seconds. I'm gonna do my incline. Knees into my chest. My, your chest is puffed out. Drive those arms straight down. You'll notice if you start to shift your weight back, if your chair's not up against anything, it's gonna move forward like mine did. So the chair's also kind of a helpful device to know if you're cheating or compensating. Shift your weight straight down into that chair. We're not pushing it forward. Straight down, come on, you have 10 more seconds. Knees in, your last climbers of the day. Good work. Almost there. 
All right, shake those arms out. We have our push-ups or our jump-ins. So you can do it on the chair, you can do it on the ground. It's up to you. I'm just gonna stick to the chair. I'm gonna use my chair this whole time through. Okay, jump out, push up. In, flat feet, flat back. Jump out, pull, push up. So when you do a push up, think about pulling yourself to the bench and then pushing yourself away. If you wanna go to the ground, you can go to the ground. That is great. Probably more of a challenge in those push ups. So if you're strong in your upper body, by all means, do it on the ground. Push straight down as you push up. Same thing with the climbers. If you end up pushing your weight forward, you're gonna end up moving that chair. If you're on a hard surface, if you're on the carpet and stuff, maybe not. Get it, get it. All right, stand on that bench. Let's do our switch jumps. Again, if you don't have a bench or you don't want to use a bench, you're like, I can't, it moves too much. Just do switch jumps here. That works or just scissor kicks. It's up to you. Whatever you can do. Switch it. Drive through that heel. Push the floor away. Load up that front leg. Your heel stays on the chair. Push, push. I mean, as you push, it'll shift up into your toe to jump. But make sure your toe from here is not pushing into it, okay? Flat foot on the bench. Flat foot, flat foot. We've got it. Focus on the movement of your knees. Your knees should not be moving in and out. Straight over the second and third toes. Three, two, one. All right, side plank. I'm gonna tell us to switch our body halfway. So it's only about 22 seconds on each side. So use the bench, use the floor if you want. I'm gonna continue to show on the chair. Kick it forward. Up, kick it forward. If you find that you don't have control on this, come to the ground, bend that knee, use the ground if you need, or straighten that leg on the ground. If you're really proficient, that works too. Try to keep that leg hovered. Last one. Okay, switch sides, rotate over. Other side, final 22 seconds. And we have one more round of switch jumps, and you're done. Knee in, kick it. Knee in, and kick it. Strong obliques, strong hips, stable shoulders. All right, last 45 seconds, and you're done with your Monday. Morning, your Monday morning. Monday lunchtime fun. Get ready and switch. Switch, push with power through that leg. You have 45 seconds here. Quick switches. Make sure your ankles aren't dumping in as you push up. That foot right here, don't let those ankles dump in. Especially if you have very supportive shoes, you may find there's a lot of movement happening. Some one reason why I love to go without shoes. You've got good foot placement. You feel what your ankles are doing, your feet are doing. Oh, we've got shoes on, so we're working it. Come on. Almost there. You have four, three, two, one. Yes. Wow, that hair got everywhere today. Good work, you guys. Awesome job, awesome cardio. Thank you for working out alongside of me during that 30 minutes. Hopefully you got a great sweaty workout using a prop or no prop. I know it's always fun for me to bring in new little things to kind of change it up. Remember to press the like button if you did, subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our fun things that we're bringing to you and check out some of our other videos. If you need to go stretch or cool down, we've got some of those in our little selection. So click on it and follow along and we'll see you next time.